3 Things Not To Do In The Workplace In today's fast-paced professional world, success isn't just about what you accomplish, but also how you conduct yourself in the workplace. Whether you're a seasoned executive or just starting your career, understanding the nuances of workplace etiquette can make all the difference in your journey to success. Welcome to our video on 3 Things Not To Do In The Workplace. In this insightful exploration, we'll delve into the expert advice of Valerie Rodriguez, a seasoned HR professional with over a decade of experience. With her wealth of knowledge, Valerie sheds light on three crucial behaviors to avoid in the workplace. Join us as we uncover these essential insights, providing you with practical tips to navigate the intricacies of office dynamics and enhance your professional reputation. As usual, a like and subscription to your channel will help the channel grow. Don't hesitate to take a few seconds to support the creators of this video. We'll get to the main content now. Valerie Rodriguez, a 10-year veteran in the field of human resources, shares three things people should avoid doing in the workplace. She is the global director of commodities trading platform Stocks. Valerie has worked with numerous senior executives on HR issues and corporate policies, drawing lessons from her experiences. 1. Avoid oversharing. While confiding in coworkers can be comforting, it's important not to overshare. Sharing too much in the workplace often does more harm than good, because it allows others to make assumptions or decisions on your behalf. Valerie Rodriguez once shared with a coworker about her car breaking down. A few months later, she had the opportunity to take on a larger role that required driving to various locations. As she eagerly anticipated the decision, her boss announced that Valerie wouldn't be considered due to concerns about her car, which could affect work schedules. I was frustrated and wanted to scream. I realized I shouldn't have shared my personal life with coworkers because it could lead others to reconsider opportunities for me and make decisions on my behalf," she said. 2. Avoid false modesty. Valerie Rodriguez believes in neither being boastful nor self-deprecating. Successful individuals often speak confidently about their achievements and advocate for themselves. On the other hand, those who are too modest tend to talk less about their accomplishments and are often perceived as lacking confidence. This diminishes their chances of advancement over time. Valerie herself once believed that her work accomplishments would speak for themselves. However, if you don't believe in yourself, it's difficult for others to support you. 3. Avoid lingering too long at parties. Having worked in HR, Valerie organized many events that required her to stay until the end or participate whenever possible. Consequently, she witnessed many negative occurrences when people lingered too long at company activities, sometimes involving alcohol. Drinking can impair judgment and lead to undesirable situations. At other times, even when sober, people make wrong decisions or say inappropriate things because they're in a different setting than the office. When they return to work the next day, rumors spread everywhere. For safety reasons, Valerie advises against staying longer than an hour or two unless absolutely necessary. As we conclude our exploration of workplace etiquette, it's clear that small actions can have significant impacts on our professional lives. Valerie Rodriguez's invaluable advice reminds us of the importance of maintaining boundaries, fostering confidence, and exercising discretion in our interactions at work. By avoiding oversharing personal details, resisting false modesty, and being mindful of our behavior at company events, we can cultivate a positive professional image and navigate workplace dynamics with grace and professionalism. As you embark on your journey in the corporate world, remember these key dos and don'ts to propel your career forward and build lasting relationships in the workplace. With a keen understanding of workplace etiquette, you'll not only achieve success, but also thrive in any professional environment. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening discussion. We hope you found these insights valuable and actionable. Here's to fostering a positive and productive work environment for all.
Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and have a fantastic day.